seems like it's a special kind of day today. It's a special hmm. day today. We Why all know that? what it is because it's ship, ship tour, tour day. day. <laughs> We're taking a ship tour of the largest cruise ship in the universe. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to mm -hmm. see every inch. We've actually only seen a very small percentage of this ship, yeah. even on day three. Mm -hmm. So Because uh, there's we're, so much to do. There's so much to do and see and everything. I'm so excited for this day. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. It's super early and we're ready to go. So early. I am not a morning person, so but this is what we do. Let's That's go. What we do? Ship tour day. Ready? Let's go. starting our ship tour day today on deck 17. It's the very, very top deck on the Symphony of the Seas and we are in the aft of the ship and on deck 17 you will find all of the suites. So your loft suites, all of the suites that they have here. You will also find the suite lounge and coastal kitchen which is really cool. All available to suite guests. Amazing! Right, right below deck 17, we're on deck 16 now, and you will find the Windjammer Buffet, which is gonna be breakfast, lunch, and dinner, all your food, come here, get amazing food all the time, all day. What more could you ask for? Make sure you take the stairs down to deck 15. They are piano stairs. They are so neat. You will be surprised how cool they are. Come check them out. and enjoy your sea days. All right, we are still on deck 16. We're still on the lounge chair deck. Between the two pools, you will find the mast bar. It's a great place to come get a drink while you're relaxing and enjoying your day. Oh my gosh, we're standing out here and these water slides are amazing. A little scary, but amazing. I made one. All right, also on deck 16, you will find the entrance to the suite deck sun deck. There's a bar up there. We're not in a suite level, so this is as far as we can go. But if you have access, definitely come enjoy. Alright, we're still on deck 16. We are inside now. We are all the way forward on the ship and we are standing outside the Hooked Seafood Restaurant. Definitely not going to try that one for us, but if you really enjoy seafood, definitely come check it out. Remember, Sean's allergic, so, but if you like it, come check it out. Alright, we're on deck 15 now. As you can see, we're going to find out what's on this deck. I think it's going to be all of our pools. Let's go see what we see. Alright, we are outside on deck 15 at the very front of the ship. You will find the solarium. This is going to be the 16 and over adult area. It has hot tubs, it has a bar. The solarium bistro is here so you can grab a bite to eat. This is the best place to relax and enjoy. The view is amazing. I mean, you have it's the front of the ship. It's gorgeous. I love it. Yeah. 
Also, right outside the solarium, you will find two major hot tubs. They are so big, they're major hot tubs. They are so large, there's one on either side of the ship, so come out, they even have TVs, which is really, really cool, so come enjoy the hot tub and just relax. All right, continuing on deck 15, you will find the entrance to the perfect storm water slides. There are three of them. There are two like enclosed uh, tube slides and there's one that's enclosed that goes into the big round, you know, bowl like slide. They look amazing. I definitely cannot wait to try them. They look a little scary as well. So, but we'll give them a try. a moment and pause between the two water slides you will find this little bridge area it gives you the best view of Central Park it's a great place to get that perfect Instagram post definitely come over here and check it out I mean look at the view it's amazing all right we're still on deck 15 and as you can see we're at the pools there are three pools on the Symphony of the Seas there's the beach pool the main pool and the sports pool we are standing right next to the beach pool right now. It's a really, really cool pool because some of the chairs actually sit in the water, like the beach. Huh, that's why they call it the beach pool. It's a very, very cool place to relax and enjoy the water. All right, right next to the beach pool, you will find the sandbar, a great place to come grab a drink. Also, you'll find the towel station here, so it's really convenient to pick up a towel and enjoy the pools. Something I really love on this ship is they have life vests available for all the little ones who can't swim really well. It's a, such a cool idea, so grab a life vest and enjoy the pool. All right, right across from the beach pool, you'll find the main pool, another great pool to enjoy the sea days. All right, moving right along on deck 15, we will find the next pool, which is the sports pool. It's right behind the beach pool and the main pool, another great pool to relax on a sea day. from the sports pool you're gonna find splash away bay this is gonna be your kids water park area it's amazing there are slides there are water buckets there is anything you can imagine right here to have the most water fun ever Need on this ship is a store called Unboxed. It's a vending machine area with tech stuff, swim stuff like suntan lotion, and they have health essentials as well. Things like medicine, Advil, razors, all that kind of stuff you can find here at Unboxed. It's a really cool place if you forget something or need something. It's like a one-stop shop. Grab what you need and get back to your vacation. Something else that's really cool in this little Unboxed store is there are charging stations right here so you can bring, and they're free, it says they're free, so you can bring your phone in here and charge if you're at the pool deck. That's really, really cool. I love that. All right, we're still on deck 15, and between the pool decks and the aft of the ship, you will find the Challengers Video Arcade. It's amazing in here. Now, if you watch our show, you know we're a little bit competitive, so I think we're gonna be spending some time in here. Everyone loves ice cream. You can come over here. It's right behind all the pools, right behind the Splash Away Bay. Soft serve ice cream from nine to nine. I mean, what more could you ask for? All right, we are making our way to the aft of the ship, still on deck 15, and you will find El Loco Fresh. It's going to be a complimentary Mexican restaurant during the day for lunch, but they also have a breakfast buffet as well. They have some fruit and they have some quesadilla and stuff. They've got to come try it. It looks amazing. Alright, right next to 
Hotel Loco Fresh still on deck 15, you will find fuel and the living room. These are both teen areas so they can come hang out. All the teens can have fun. It's amazing. There's some really cool activities. Check your program for all that stuff. I mean, awesome. All right, I have to mention this. Between El Loco Fresh and the Teen Club, there's a really cool seating area here. There are rocking chairs and a little table. You have the best view ever off the aft of the ship. You can look out and just watch the world sail by. It's beautiful. All right, rounding out deck 15, we are at the aft of the ship, which is the back of the ship. You will find all of the sports stuff here. So as you can see, we are standing on the Symphony Dunes, which is the mini golf course here on board. There's also a basketball court, uh, all kinds of activities going on there. There's also Flow Rider, which is really, really neat. A little scary, but very, very neat. You should definitely try it. I'm gonna actually try it. And there's also the zip line. So you've got mini golf, a sports court, you have flow rider, and you have a zip line. There's so much to do out here. It's so cool. Yes! I'm so good. All right, now we are standing on the aft of the ship. We're right between the two flow riders. There's two on each side. There's also a bar here. But I did leave something out when I was talking about the sports court area, and there's a very good reason for that, because we are standing next to the ultimate abyss, which is the ultimate scariest thing I've ever seen on a cruise ship, and I can't wait to do it 25 times. Tape check this out. wondering there is a height requirement for the flow rider there's a height requirement for boogie boarding and for surfboarding so definitely check that out if your little ones want to ride all right ultimate thrill well there's the ultimate abyss that's probably the ultimate thrill on the symphony of the seas but there's also the zip line it goes all the way across the boardwalk so you get to soar across best view of the boardwalk ever i can't wait to try it a little scary though i love it Take a little pause in our ship tour day to have some yummy breakfast. We're gonna stop here at El Loco Fresh because it looks amazing. So let's get some breakfast. We are on deck 14 and one of the things you'll find on deck 14 is the seven hearts room It's the card room on the symphony of the seeds There's all kinds of places to play games in here They have like the crossword puzzle of the day the sudoku puzzle of the day They also have computers in here So if you want to check your email print out your boarding passes for your airplane You can do all of that inside here in the seven hearts room all right, we are still on deck 14. The card room is in the back of the ship or the aft of the ship, and now we are forward on deck 14. We are standing in this hallway of all kinds of stuff. First, there's the Adventure Ocean Kids Club, which is really cool. Check your times guide for all the things going on. They have something going on all day. There's also an escape room here. Very, very neat. There's also a puzzle break room here. Also really neat. So come check out this area. It's on deck 14. Super, super cool. All right, we are on deck 12 now, and if you're into something really, really cool, a really fun dinner experience, come check out Wonderland. They, they classify it as imaginative cuisine. You gotta check it out. It looks really, really awesome. I mean, surprises around every corner. Definitely really cool. There's an imminent storm. It's unavoidable. on deck nine now and on deck nine you'll find something really cool it's called dazzles and dazzles actually has two entrances one on deck nine and one on deck eight it's a great place to come at night and hang out they have live bands going on here they have uh, game show stuff they also have something called rockaroki which is really cool you can uh, do karaoke to a live band i cannot wait to come check it out Decade. 
decade. I did say decade. We are still on a ship. Can you believe it? This is Central Park. It is so pretty. There are live plants, live trees. You really feel like you're outside in a park, not on a cruise ship, and it's amazing. You gotta come check it out. Another really cool thing about Central Park is it has all kinds of restaurants and shops. Um, they're everywhere, so you gotta check your guide for it because there's so many. We're gonna show you. The very first one is Chops Grill. Chops Grill is our first restaurant on, in Central Park. This is gonna be the steakhouse on board. We ate here as part of the key program for lunch and it was amazing. I mean, so, so good. You gotta come try it. If you love steakhouses, definitely recommend it. We are right across from Chops Grill and another restaurant you will find here is 150 Central Park. We ate here last night and it was beyond amazing. It was so, so good. Something really cool that we learned about this is it's called 150 Central Park because it's 150 meters from the front of the ship. All right, right between 150 Central Park and Chops Grill, you will find the entrance. It's the second entrance to the Rising Tide Bar. It's a really cool bar that goes up and down from the promenade deck, deck five, all the way to here, deck eight, which is really cool. If you want to know where the next departure is, you come over here. <laughs> and you look right here. On our Central Park tour would be the Trellis Bar. It's a great bar to hang out at night. It's really, really popular at night, so come over here, hang out. They have music in Central Park, which is really, really cool, so come grab a drink and listen to the music and enjoy all the nature. Italian restaurant on board. It looks like an amazing place. We can't wait to try it. We haven't tried it yet, but we're so excited to come here and try it out. All right, we're still in Central Park, like we've been talking about, and I've been talking about all the specialty dining on board on, in this area. There's something else really cool on Central Park. It's called Park Cafe. It's a complimentary restaurant. They have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, snacks, sandwiches, breakfast stuff, pastries. They have coffee in here. They have a soda machine in here. It's a really cool place to come and grab a bite to eat if you're looking for something fast and yummy. All right, we are now standing outside of Vintages, still in Central Park. This is gonna be the wine bar on board. It's amazing. They have all kinds of wine tastings here throughout the entire sailing. You gotta come check it out. Check your times guides for all that as well. It's an amazing place if you really love wine. from Vintages, you will find some really high-end shops. They have some watches here, some jewelry. It's amazing. If you're looking for the ultimate experience in shopping, come over here. Remember, we're still in Central Park. Really, really amazing. Really, really cool stuff. All right, we are finished our Central Park tour, and it is so amazing. You have to come see it. Deck 8, it's my favorite deck of the entire ship. I absolutely love it. Let's go see what we see. Let's go see more of the ship. on deck six you will find the vitality at sea fitness and spa center it's amazing we came on day one to check out the spa it's such a pretty spa love it Vitality Cafe here. If you're looking for a healthy smoothie or a healthy snack, they have that here. Come check it out. It's an amazing way to feel good. We are still 
on deck six, we are at the aft of the ship or the back of the ship and we are standing inside the schooner bar. This is a great place to hang out at night. You have a great view of the promenade, which you can see up, sit up on top with all the activities going on. They have a bar here, they have a piano here. So come over here, check your times guide for all the entertainment going on. They have trivia here as well. It's a great place to just kind of come and hang out and enjoy. from the schooner bar you will find the photo gallery in the picture this portrait studio you can come over here check out all of your pictures from the cruise the amazing photographers take pictures throughout the cruise it's really cool they're also come over here and get a professional photo session done if you're interested in that right next to photo gallery you'll also find the shore excursion desk you can come over here and book all your shore excursions i love how they have ipads to book everything on makes it super easy super fast come book go enjoy your vacation all right we are at the back of deck six now so we're at the aft of deck six and at the back of deck six you will find something so amazing if you thought central park was wonderful you wait until you check out the boardwalk it is so cool there is stuff everywhere i mean I'm not going to explain it, let's just go show ya. amazing boardwalk doghouse. This is gonna be complimentary hot dogs. Come over here, grab a hot dog, and experience all the boardwalk has to offer. It's so amazing. Something that you can't miss on the boardwalk is this amazing carousel. It's a carousel on a cruise ship. What? So amazing, I cannot wait to take a spin. You'll also find a rock climbing wall here and the exit to the abyss, which is really, really cool. So all of this happens right here on deck six at the boardwalk. All right, another thing you'll find on the boardwalk is Johnny Rockets. Johnny Rockets is like an American cafe. Now they serve breakfast here that's complimentary, but they have lunch and dinner as well, like burgers and fries and stuff, and that's gonna cost you $10. But breakfast is complimentary, lunch and dinner is gonna cost you a little bit extra, but definitely come check it out if you're interested in a great burger and great fries. All right, right next to Johnny Rockets, you'll find the Surf Shack. Here you can find all kinds of surfing stuff like t-shirts and swim shorts and sunglasses, suntan lotions, all that stuff to enjoy outside you can find here. here on the boardwalk you will find Sugar Beach. You come over here and indulge in your sweet tooth. It's a really cool place. Lots of ship snacks. I mean candy and ice cream. Let's go check it out. We are 
on deck five now, deck five, and we are standing inside of the main dining room number five. Here's gonna be your early and late dinner seating, so if you have a set dinner time, you would come here to main dining room five. the main dining room find you will find the royal promenade this is an amazing area there's so much to see and I'm gonna go show you let's go promenade you will find guest services so come over here if you need to take care of your account it's right here on, on deck five you can also find the bionic bar which is really neat a robot makes you a drink what? a robot what? we were here last night it's really really cool so you got to come try it get a drink from a robot I mean it's made by a robot <laughs> All right, right between guest services and the Bionic Bar, you will find the entrance to the Rising Tide Bar. Remember, it goes up and down, it goes to Central Park and comes down to the Promenade. Very, very cool, you gotta check it out. We're still on deck five, right across from guest services. You will find something called the box office. You can come over here and make reservations for your shows, but you know what you can also do? You can also get on the Royal Caribbean app and look at all your shows on here. There's a calendar on here. You can res reserve shows on here. You can reserve dining. You can do everything on this app. So instead of waiting in line, pick up your phone and dial it in on your app. All right, right next to guest services, you will find the Cafe Promenade. They have a, it's a place where you can get complimentary coffee and complimentary ship snacks. They have like pastries and little uh, sandwiches and all kinds of stuff. There's also a coffee shop in there as well, So, but those cost money. So if you're interested in a specialty coffee, you can come here and get specialty coffee. They have regular coffee that's complimentary and snacks. Right across from the Cafe Promenade, you will find the collection. It's a great place to come and check out all the handbags. They have some sunglasses. Definitely a neat place to come check out. Right next to the collection, you will find Next Cruise. If you love your cruise, might as well book another one. So go in there, book your cruise. Lots of discounts, lots of cool stuff. I mean, you gotta do it. All right, are you looking for all that Royal Caribbean swag? Well, you found it right here at the shop. So come in here, get your t-shirts, your magnets, your ornaments. I mean, let's go check it out. All right, we are still on deck five, right next to the shop where you get all your Royal Caribbean swag. You will find Copper and Kettle. It is an English pub on board. They have entertainment here at night. It's a really cool place to come grab a pint and just relax. A slice of pizza. Go grab a slice at Sorrento's right across from Copper and Kettle. I mean, you just gotta do it. All right, we are standing in the middle of the Royal Promenade, and here you'll find the Royal Shop. So you've got beauty, you've got duty free stuff, and you've got jewelry. So come over here, shop it all up. I mean, it's awesome. All right, coming to the end of our Royal Promenade tour, you will find Boleros, Starbucks, and On Air. Boleros is gonna be your Latin dance club. It has really great music at night. Definitely come check that out. Starbucks, of course, has the most amazing coffee. It's not complimentary, but you can come check that out if you want a Starbucks coffee. And then On Air, there's game shows, there's karaoke, there's all kinds of cool stuff going on in there. Check out your times, guys, for that. I mean, so much going on all the time. All right, at the very end of the Royal Promenade, towards the front of the ship, you'll find the Royal Theater. It's amazing, there's entrance on deck five and deck four. It's a beautiful theater. We saw Hairspray here on, on our first night. It was so awesome. I can't wait to see the other shows. They just look amazing. I mean, entertainment's always amazing on Royal ships, so I cannot wait. You gotta come check out the Royal Theater. It is gorgeous. All right, one last thing that I forgot to mention on deck five, something that's really, really awesome. It's the running track or the jogging track. It goes all the way around the entire ship. It's really, really awesome. You gotta come check it out if you wanna walk, if you wanna jog. It's awesome that it's all by itself. I love that. 
All right, as you can see, we are now on deck four. And if you thought there was a lot of stuff on deck five, you wait till you see what's on deck four. Let's go check it out. This is called Entertainment Place and there's so much to do. I mean, we just gotta show you, let's go. All right, like I just mentioned on deck five, we are on deck four and this is another entrance to the Royal Theater. So there are two entrances, one on deck four, one on deck five. So basically there's two levels of the theater. Again, it's an amazing theater. Watch all your shows here. You gotta come try them out. They're so amazing. I mean, they're just awesome. All right, we just passed the theater. We are on deck four and we are standing outside of Jazz on Four. It is an amazing jazz club. We came here last night. It's just. You gotta come just listen to the musicians. They're awesome. Just a great way to relax and sort of just chill. Another cool thing you'll find on deck four is the Diamond Club. It's a lounge for Diamond and Plus members. It's a really cool place to come and hang out. I love that. You will also find the Studio B ice skating rink on deck four. Not only do they have really cool ice skating shows, but they also open the ice rink for complimentary ice skating and they even convert the ice rink into a complimentary laser tag arena. So many amazing things to do all in one place. All right, also on deck four, you will find the attic, which is gonna be your small venue entertainment. So your comedians, all kinds of fun things going on. I think it even turns into a club. Check your times guides for all that stuff. I mean, what more could you ask for? All right, the biggest thing you will find on deck four is going to be the Casino Royale. Come over here, they have a bar, they have all the games. I mean, it's awesome. If you think Deck 4 was full of attractions, hang on because there's also a great restaurant here called Izumi. Izumi offers an Asian-inspired dining experience. We have reservations to eat here later in the week and we cannot wait. Alright, we are at the end of Deck 4 and we are standing inside of Main Dining Room 4. This is going to be your anytime dining, so if you don't have an early or late seating, you can come here, enjoy dinner, it's awesome! come to the very end of our ship tour and we are now on deck three. Deck three, you will find main dining room three, which is going to be an early and late seating for your dinner, but they also serve breakfast and lunch here. So if you're looking for a sit down breakfast and lunch, come to main dining on three, deck three, it's awesome. Oh my gosh, That's we're it. done. Wow. I mean, that was an amazing ship tour. Long day. This ship is humongous. Massive. There's so much to do. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. You gotta come check it out. I mean, wow. All the wow. Good evening, Good evening everyone. everyone. Good mm -hmm. evening. Oh my gosh, it is the evening of day three. Which was? Ship, ship tour, tour day. day. We had the best ship tour day. Ooh. This ship is humongous, like wow. Longest it's, ship tour ever. Wow, it's mm. just really, really awesome. Yes. Um, now it's formal night tonight, so we're all just fancy, yeah, fancy, fancy. Um, we also got invited to check out Coastal Kitchen for dinner mm -hmm. tonight. Um, if you're not aware, Coastal Kitchen is the sweet restaurant. So we're going to go try that out and see how it's it is. Sweet. It's so sweet. We're so excited. Um, so let's go to dinner. Oh my gosh, it was such a great day. Uh, the best day ever. Longest so ship tour ever, but just unreal. So great. Beautiful ship. Mm. Love Took it. Six hours. I mean, that's all I can say. Six that's hours. a long time. Which is about three or four hours longer than normally it takes. So yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah. But uh, let's go to dinner. Come on, let's go. You, you told me to take things slow, slow, but now I don't know which way to go. You tear me up, tear me up, 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 and you fix me up.
the most amazing dinner at Coastal Kitchen. It was so good. If you are staying in a suite on Royal Caribbean, you are lucky. You, are lucky. Ooh, you get amazing, wee. amazing food. Oh my gosh. Oh, so good. Let's go. And now, I want you out of my head to be gone. Uh, we just came back to the cabin. We had a reservation tonight for Hero. So we changed, the Hero is the um, dive show mm -hmm. in the aft of the ship, it's outside. So we came back to change. I had on a white dress and I didn't want to wear the white dress in the aqua theater seats. So we changed and we're ready to go. And then they just made an announcement that the show was canceled for tonight. It's rocky, by the way. It's rocky. It's very rocky. <laughs> it's and really on ship, rocky. On a ship this large, we, like on Allure, we never felt rockiness at all. Yeah. And we're, it's really rocking right now. So yes. it's no surprise that they canceled the show. Yes, but something really cool that they did, they rescheduled us yeah, that's cool. automatically on a night that we don't have a show. So yeah. that's really cool. So and they automatically rebooked us. So yeah. just have to show up. Fantastic. Yeah, it's really, really nice. So and that's everybody, not just us. Yeah, we are casual now. Um, it is, it is formal night, but we're not going. Still going. curly though. <laughs> Still we curly. Curl. But we're just gonna go hang out and just keep casual. Uh, I don't want to get back into my dress and everything and all maybe that we stuff. Maybe should pub it up. So maybe we'll go maybe. to the pub. Maybe. Hmm. Let's go. To the oh, pub. by the way, how was dinner? Oh my gosh, dinner was so, so mm. good. The best. If you are in the sweets. Oof. Life is sweet in the sweets. It's amazing. Y'all got it good up there. Yes, you do. We're down by the engine room, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so good. Definitely recommend that. Really, really good. Mm -hmm. But All anyway, right. let's go see what we see. gosh what an amazing day it was ship tour day this ship is huge as you just saw I mean oh my gosh so much to see so much to do around every corner there's something going on at every hour until the wee hours I mean it's just amazing so thanks so much guys for watching we are thoroughly exhausted so we are definitely calling it a night tonight oh my gosh I love this ship it's amazing it's so so wonderful so Thanks so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Good night. Oh. <laughs> we're on. All right, we're still on deck 16 in between the pools on deck six on Oh my gosh, so scary. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to breathe. <laughs> All right, when you finish your breakfast, lunch, and breakfast, there's an infinity edge that you can go into. What's that called? Like a beach? Nope. All right. <laughs> Something I really love on this ship is they have life vests to that. Okay, right across from the beach pool, you will find the main pool. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you good? Yeah. <laughs> and a very good morning. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, we are now standing outside of Vintages, which is going to be an amazing wine bar on board. <laughs> We are on deck six now, and on deck six you will find the Vitality at sea. Vitality. Vitality. There's a big hand print right across the... All right, right across from the schooner bar, you will find the photo gal... Fo All right, our very first thing, it... 
Okay, we are now on deck five, on deck five, and we are on the, no, we're not on the, we're in the. <laughs> right across from the cafe promenade, you'll find a Right next to the... <laughs> Valeris is going to be your Latin uh, dance. A cool thing you'll find on deck four is going to be the Diamond Club. It's where you can come and hang out at the Diamond. 